After a very successful look at the Lando Carizine action figure, which we previously reviewed, I'm hoping for the best with this one. So check it out. Here's another Star Wars Black Series action figure review, and this time we're taking a look at the spotlight of the viewing station at the Death Star Trooper. So, taking a look at the packaging is partake of every single video review on this channel. Once again, Star Wars The Black Series, the open window packaging, which showcases the figure. Very nice. You can see me again. Hello, everyone. So, here's the profile of the image taken up front of the packaging of the Death Star Trooper. Looks pretty good. Warning, choking hazard, Hasbro's logo right there, ages 4 and plus. On the side of the packaging, he is number 60 of this version of the Black Series. On this side here, you've got, if I turn it the right way, Death Star Trooper in other languages as well. On the back of the packaging, and here's the brief bio for the Death Star Trooper. Pause the viewer and read it, more power to ya. And down below that, we got some licensing and some copyright and all that kind of stuff. You get the idea of that. So let's remove the figure out of the packaging and let's check so it out. So moving forward, here is the look at the Death Star Gunner out of his packaging. And once again, a very nice action figure. Maybe not as cool as Lando Carizian, but it's still one of the top-notch figures that are coming out of this line so far. So let's look at him up close and personal. Here's the full details of his face sculpt which is very good. Removing his helmet, which is one of the features of this figure. And you can see the full head that's underneath. Hair is nicely painted. It's got some nice detail to it. And as you can see, the face is phenomenal. Very nice print work. I don't know what actor this is. I'm sure they got this somewhere. This isn't a generic face that they just slapped on the figure, but that is a very nice face. So let's go ahead and put this helmet back in place, and it does hold in pretty good, especially with the chin guard locking everything down. Very nice. Take a good look at the top of the helmet from the back view. As you can see, we got some detail going on here. Some stuff that I haven't even noticed in the films. Right. Very good. On the side here, we've got the Imperial patch. On this side here, nothing. Right there, some cool detail. There's his belt. Very nicely painted with some nice silver. Here's a look at the holster on the back of the belt. All right, down below that, here's a look at his very nice, cool looking boots. Not as glossy as Lando Carizio's. Man, that figure was just something, wasn't he? Very nice. But, you know, it's not fair to talk about that because we're talking about this figure here. So let's go back to the figure and talk about his articulation. He does have a ball jointed head with the hinge neck as common to most star wars and marvel legend figures but it's a good thing that they're going to be going away with this soon enough just like lando there again go with lando i mean <laughs> all right so anyway we do have ball jointed shoulders so you got a hinge joint for inward and outward movement you got your full rotation which is nice you got a swivel cut above the elbow joint you do have single jointed elbows it does get 90 degrees of bend you got a wrist swivel cut. You have a hinge joint for... Well, do you? It's not really working. And there it is right there. So, you do have it. But it's kind of hindered on this arm here. Let's try the other one. Just to see if it's in the same position. Uh, actually, it is. Both actually go up and down this way instead of folding in and out. I don't know why. Oh, well. So, anyway, we do have a ball joint at the waist section of the figure. So, pretty good. Doesn't break up the design. Very nice. So, we do have some movement down here at the hips. They're on a ball joint. If we can actually get it as high as we can, that's about as much as you keep forward. And that's as much as you're going back. And you get this much of a split. Well, wait a minute. Wait. 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 Yay! It's a full JCVD split! Hey! Yeah! Nice! We do have a thigh swivel cut, double jointed knees, very good. Nothing at the boot, no swivel cut. Kind of looked like it did earlier, but no, not there. But you do have a very nice hinge joint for up and down movement at the feet, and that also includes a very nice ankle rocker pivot. So this guy's pretty poseable. Probably one of the most poseable figures out of this wave so far. 
And he's not without his accessories. He does have his blaster, which looks really good. Obviously sculpted in some black plastic, but the tip of it is painted in that nice silver. So a nice looking blaster. And of course, the figure has a trigger finger, as we can slide that in there. And he can definitely, absolutely, 100% hold his blaster in a much natural looking position. Very nice. God, I love this way so far. And of course, since he's got a holster, can slide it right in there. Slides in. Very nice. Alright, so this is a pretty cool figure. I like the way this actually came out. The execution on this wave so far has been quite phenomenal, minus one, but that's only because of some controversial things. And, uh, speaking of which, of course we're gonna throw him in, so let's dare to compare. Starting off with Han Solo from Solo, A Star Wars Story, followed by Lando Carizian, the best figure out of this line so far. And then here he comes. There is your Jawa, which, you know, yeah, give or take, he's an okay figure. He's got complications, but he's still okay. But so far, it's still my favorite being Lando Carizian. This definitely got to be second, though. This is a really cool figure that's got more in the terms of articulation than any of these guys combined. It's amazing. I, I was not expecting that at all. I thought since maybe this was just a normal trooper, yeah, I figured maybe they would have lacked thereof. But then I remembered, this isn't Playmates Toys, this is Hasbro we're talking about. Overall, quite a good wave so far. I'm definitely enjoying this, and I can't wait to review more, believe it or not. So, questions or comments, you know, to do? Well, wait a minute. Let's put more attention on the guy that deserves it since his video... All right, so now I'm ready to close out. So questions or comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you like today's video review, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the trap. So questions or comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you like today's video review, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to give a bu 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 thumbs up. Third time's the charm. So questions and comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you liked today's video review, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the towel. Yes! And until then, this is the Unprofessional Toy Reviewer, Redis Power Sign. I'll say thank you very much for watching this, and I'll see you whenever you see me.